starting off with the first player that I'm personally high on as well, Van Jefferson in LA. When you catch the attention of a head coach because of your work ethic, you're going to get some playing time for sure. Van Jefferson is currently listed as the fourth wide receiver on the Rams step chart, and that's because he's a rookie in the NFL. Josh Reynolds is a number three. They're giving that spot to Josh Reynolds because of veteran deference. They want to respect the veteran. Totally understandable. But if you're hearing things coming out of training camp, it's that Van Jefferson is more than likely going to dethrone Reynolds for that number three spot and play out of the slot. We talked about work ethic. Sean McVay loves his work ethic on the field, but also his ability ability to focus and his work ethic in the film room as well. He's a good student, a good pupil of the game, and Sean McVay has noticed that. Jefferson, we talked about, could be working out of the slot. And a guy that is really well known for his route running ability in Van Jefferson is is being compared to someone like, oh, I don't know, Keenan Allen. He's got comparisons to Keenan Allen, who's a top 15, maybe top 10 receiver in the NFL. I would say that's a pretty strong comparison between two great route runners. Jefferson is just one injury away to Cooper Cup and Robert Woods from really taking off. Number four receiver on the depth chart, but he's still going to get significant amount of playing time given that the Rams like to run a lot of three wide receiver sets. And then once that injury happens to Cup or to Woods or one of them goes on a decline, which... uh, We kind of predict, not so much, a lot, but a little bit of regression in Robert Woods, which we're going to explain uh, later on at the end of the podcast. We're going to answer some fan questions. We're going to talk about Robert Woods. But he's just an injury and decline away from landing the number two wide receiver role in LA, and Van Jefferson is going to take off with it. So keep in mind that Jefferson is uh, for you guys that are playing a fantasy football, is going undrafted. And if you've got a spot on your bench that you can just give up for Jefferson, I'd go ahead and just pick him up. So he's going to help out that Rams passing game a lot, and that's why I believe that Jared Goff is going to throw at least 30 touchdowns uh, in 2020. We talked about Van Jefferson, the rookie. I want to mention another another rookie that I believe is going to be uh, a breakout in 2020. It isn't C.D. Lamb. He could break out. It isn't Jerry Judy. Could break out, but that's not who I have in mind. It's actually a guy taken in the second round. Michael Pittman on the Indianapolis Colts. The reason I love Pittman so much is because his size. He's compared to someone like Vincent Jackson uh, when he was playing with L.A. or San Diego at the time and Tampa Bay. Pittman was touted by Frank Reich, the head coach of the Colts, to be one of, if not the best, wide receiver in that draft class. They have struck gold with Pittman. Currently listed as the number four receiver on the depth chart, but like we mentioned with Van Jefferson, that's because they're giving deference to veterans. They want to respect uh, the veterans ahead of them. So that includes Paris Campbell, that includes T.Y. Hilton, that includes Zach Pascal, But it's noted that in training camp, he's been looking impressive and that he's going to have a significant role with Phillip Rivers in that Indianapolis Colts offense. So watch out for uh, Michael Pittman. Moving on to another rookie wide receiver that was actually taken in the first round. Not CeeDee Lamb, not Jerry Judy, not even Henry Ruggs. Justin Jefferson on the Minnesota Vikings. And the reason I believe that he's going to be a breakout player in 2020 is because you've got to look at, you just got to use your head. You got to use your knowledge. You got to use your knowledge of the scheme that Minnesota plays. Their coaching staff going into 2020 hasn't changed that much. It's almost pretty much the same offense that they have minus Stephon Diggs. Oh, you lost your number two receiver. And comes Justin Jefferson, a guy that you drafted to be that replacement for Stephon Diggs. Diggs 
is known for his route running ability to be that 6'1", 205, 210 player, similar to the size as Justin Jefferson. So they drafted someone that could be the next Stephon Diggs in that Minnesota offense. And if you look at that offense, they're heavily leaning on that run game, but also Kirk Cousins and Adam Thielen and Stephon Diggs in 2019 when they got into beef about not passing the ball so much because they were being a run team, guess what they did? They passed the ball and then the receivers went off. I think that this is the this is the same thing that's going to happen in 2020. Justin Jefferson is going to come in and pretty much just take the role of Stephon Diggs. Thielen is clearly going to be the number uh, one guy. BC Johnson is listed at the, as the number two guy. But like we mentioned earlier with all the other players, they Try to give those veterans that deference because they respect the veterans and they want to list them ahead of the rookies on the depth chart. But Justin Jefferson has been looking way more impressive in scrimmage and in OTAs, and he's going to be the next Stephon Diggs for that Minnesota Vikings offense.